I'm gonna do a really quick DIY. It's perfect. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the makeover of our baby boy's nursery. It is finally done and I am so excited to finally share everything with you. I'm gonna finish decorating, finish styling. There's a bunch more stuff in here. We have a little crib. I think it might be nice to start by taking a look at what this room looked like when it was still our guest room and not yet a nursery. So this was basically the room where we dumped all of our old furniture from our previous apartment. Um, anything that didn't really fit the style of the rest of our home ended up in here. <laughs> and it made for a pretty nice guest room slash storage room. We did know straight away when moving in that this would eventually become a kid's room. So we made sure not to spend any money on doing over this room. The first thing we needed to do was clear everything out of here that doesn't belong in a nursery or a kid's room. Most of that was honestly actually my stuff. I had a bunch of my beauty supplies in here, an extra dresser where I kept my workout gear, pajamas. So we went around the rest of the house <laughs> trying to create space for those things elsewhere, which resulted in our bathroom makeover, which you can watch in the info card if you're interested. And also the dresser makeover in our bedroom, which you can also watch. <laughs> I will also link that. But eventually we did get this room completely cleared out. We did decide to keep the guest bed in here. We thought it would be really nice to kind of retain the function of a guest room, especially while baby's not actually sleeping in here. I think it might be really nice to have the option for someone to sleep over while we have a newborn. It's our first baby, so I think that might be really nice just having a second bed in the house. So the only piece of furniture we've kept in here is our old bed, which serves as a guest bed currently. This room is a nursery right now, but baby won't be sleeping in here for probably a pretty long time. We have a co-sleeper crib which attaches to our bed so baby's gonna be sleeping in there in our bedroom. The primary function of this room is mostly to just hold baby's stuff. We have a changing station here and of course down the line it will become his room. So we wanted everything that we bought to be future proof. Now as for the theme of the nursery, we wanted to go for an enchanted forest fairy tale theme. So there's a bit of woodland, there's also a bit of magical creatures, all of the fun whimsical fairy tale vibes. So we went with this lovely forest wallpaper that has a bunch of cute animals. So it'll be really fun um, to explore with him as he grows older. And then it was time to bring in a bunch of new stuff for babies. The chair the nursing chair, I ended up choosing this one, which is gigantic. And I'm not sure if it translates on camera just how big this is. It's pretty big. I mean, I can easily sit here with the kid next to me when he gets a little bit bigger and we can read together. And then when he gets even bigger, he can read here on his own, play video games, whatever. I just feel like this is gonna be such a comfortable, cozy and incredible addition to any room. It's fully assembled, it's ready, it's in the spot where it's gonna be. All it needs right now is just a quick steam of the covers. Another thing I want to do is make a place here where I can put stuff that I'm gonna need when I'm sitting here. We can do that next, but, but let's start by just steaming this, getting it to look nice and perfect. That looks much better. Yay! Also, my makeup cabinet went to a friend of ours, so we were able to put the toy shelf down here, and now we can go ahead and install the hooks. I have these uh, these hooks that we bought a while ago, and they were supposed to go in our bedroom, but now that we have the two dressers, we no longer really need these or have anywhere to put them in the bedroom, so I think these would actually be perfect on the wall here, and we can hang, you know, these baskets with toys. I think these will be perfect to hang there. But in any case, all the furniture that needs to be cleared out of here is out of here. And uh, all that's left now is baby stuff. Let's get something on this wall. I'm thinking this little shelf and then kind of like a gallery wall situation would be really nice to pull across this entire wall.
I will be restyling this a hundred times, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> but for now, I love it. The whole idea is that this is going to be stuff that he can reach from a very early age. So we're going to have all kinds of toys that he can just grab at will and use and just like save stuff for him to play with. Oh, I absolutely love this corner. I think it turned out really, really cute. So one last thing I want to do today is to hang this mobile. We have this little felted uh, woodland animal mobile that I would love to hang over the reading chair. I think it'd be lovely to have it just up there while he's nursing maybe. So I'm gonna have to drill into the ceiling for that. We have these special um, things that we always use for that. So just gonna go ahead and do that. The room is starting to feel more and more like an actual nursery and I'm just, oh, I absolutely love it. This weekend, we're gonna go thrifting and look for photo frames, picture frames. <laughs> Taking a little break here from the makeover to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor as this video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an online website building platform that allows you to build yourself a website even if you have no experience with website building whatsoever. They make it really easy to build yourself a blog or a web shop, a place to take bookings for your small business, just any type of online presence that you need, you can do it through Squarespace. They have loads and loads and loads of templates on the website that you can start from, templates for all different kinds of types of websites that are completely customizable and everything is done in a very visual way. So you're basically building the website as it will appear in the finished product as well. You can very easily drag and drop sections, customize everything about the appearance of the website, add sections according to your needs and just keep playing around with it until you're completely satisfied with your website and all the features on it. Squarespace offer really strong analytics so you can keep tabs on how your website is performing and you can even purchase your domain through them as well. So it really is kind of like this one-stop shop. So if this sounds good to you, you can head over to squarespace.com to start a free trial. And then once you are ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash loopsy and use code loopsy to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. So definitely be sure to check that out if you were planning on building yourself a website soon. Huge thank you to Squarespace once again. And now let's get back to the makeover. We went to the thrift store and bought a bunch of frames. It took me a while to figure out what I wanted to hang on this wall. I just knew I wanted a bunch of stuff like lots of different little things and that is still the plan so we headed to the thrift store bought a bunch of different picture frames i've also been thinking for a very long time about what i want to fill these frames with i looked everywhere etsy online just trying to find some art that i liked and that fit the theme of the room and this is kind of how i want to bring in the fairy tale portion of the like enchanted fairy tale forest it needed to meet certain criteria and i just couldn't find anything and then it hit me the only logical answer so here are the frames that i thrifted and this is all concept art from the efteling which if you're not familiar the efteling is a fairy tale themed theme park here in the netherlands i'm a huge fan of it really big fan <laughs> This just makes perfect sense. Plus, I think these are really nice images as well. I still have to get a frame for this one, but I'm gonna head to uh, some shops later today and I think I will find one in that size. Castle, here we have a little gnome village. Yeah, and I just think these are perfect, fit the theme perfectly. I think they are really cute. So that's gonna go up on that wall along with this painting from my grandma and then we can expand on this as time goes by but at least there will be something <laughs> on the wall because right now it just feels very bare and sad and I just want to fill it up. These are very old picture frames and not all of them have like something to hang them with so I have this hardware set here and I think I just need to attach yeah something something like this would actually be perfect probably so that I can hang the picture frame onto the wall. Yeah, I don't actually think this frame is made of wood. <laughs> it just won't go in and um, the stuff that's coming out of the hole is white. So yeah, never mind. I'll just hang this one by the frame. 
it has a bit of a ledge, so I'm sure that'll be fine. <laughs> I love this. I feel like it makes the room look so much more complete. The little tiny one is gonna go just right up there. This is the changing station. <laughs> We're having a boy. So I wanted to make sure the painting was out of range. I don't really care about the frames too much, but that I want to, you know, preserve. <laughs> And as I mentioned, we're gonna be adding to this. Obviously, I would love for the whole wall to just be filled with stuff. But for now, I feel like this is a great start. I definitely want to find some more things that aren't frames or just art. So maybe something embroidered, like a beautiful embroidery and a hoop or something could be really nice. But for now, much better than it was, I think. <music> Matt just arrived. It's perfect. The perfect color to match to the walls. Look! <laughs> wow! So eventually this is probably gonna end up in a living room downstairs, but until baby gets here, we're definitely putting it down in the nursery. I do kind of feel, looking at it, that the gallery wall is missing something right here. Something taller. And I want to add more different textures, different just 3D things, things that aren't frames. So I'm gonna do a really quick DIY and I thought I'd show you because this is, I think this is super cute. I have this test tube, some string and some dried flowers. Or these aren't flowers, but some dried plants. And I'm gonna create like this wall hanging. Literally the simplest thing in the world, but I'm just gonna go ahead, wrap this string around the top of this test tube. Just wrap it a couple of times and tie this off in a knot. Make sure it's nice and tight. If you want it, you could maybe add a drop of glue to the back of this to make it more secure, but I feel like this is so light, you should be good. Um, and then I'm gonna create a little loop with my string and tie another knot and that way I have a way to hang this on the wall. Okay, I'll cut off my string. There you have it. So I'm gonna see where I want it on the wall. I think right around here. Put in a little nail there. my tube, put my flowers in. That was so easy to do. You could even make like a little arrangement, have several of them up on the wall. We had a bunch of these laying around from our wedding. We had tea in these as a wedding favor for our guests. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is what the space needed. I love it, it's adorable. We're almost done here. Let's just do some final touches.
seen all the preparations, now how about we do a little tour? And that is it guys, that is what our enchanted forest fairy tale nursery currently looks like. Now obviously this room is going to change a lot in the upcoming years, especially as baby grows up and develops their own tastes and everything. But for now, this is a room that mom and dad really like. <laughs> And I'm sure baby will love it as well. I would love to deck out this room with more things, more decorations, more toys. Um, but as I mentioned, I'm sure that will happen just naturally as time progresses. For now, I think this is a wonderful place to start. It's all ready for baby to come and we're very, very excited. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this little makeover journey and tour. <laughs> if you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to stay updated on all of the other things I will be up to in the upcoming months. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!